Today's children's story is based on Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 to 13. And it's a story about 10 attendants who are waiting for a bridal party to come. Do you want to be friends with God? Jesus asked his listeners. Then you must be ready always. No one knows when God will come to meet you. Once, there were 10 wedding attendants. Their task was to welcome the wedding party. They were expected at nightfall. So the wedding attendants lit their lamps and waited. Now, five of these attendants had brought extra lamp oil for their lamps just in case the wedding party would be late. And the other five attendants told them, you're not going to need it. They're not going to be late. It's going to be fine. Well, an hour went past and then two hours. The attendants grew tired and they began to fall asleep. They were woken by a great shout. They're coming, they're coming. Everybody get ready. While the attendants jumped up, the five who had brought extra oil poured it into the lamps to make sure they went on burning brightly. But the other five had almost no oil left. Can we have some of yours? They asked. Well, the five attendants who were prepared said, we're sorry, we don't have any to spare. And so the five who were running out said, okay, we're gonna have to go buy more. So off they ran, hurrying away. And while they were gone, the wedding party arrived. The five wise attendants lifted their lamps high. They cheered as they followed the wedding party into the feast. But the five foolish attendants came back too late. They were not even allowed in. And so Jesus said, always be ready for God. A large part of that story and the conversation comes around being prepared. How is it that we prepare for when we encounter God in our lives? And if you followed some of the activities from last week about the Beatitudes, you would know that a lot of what we need was taught to us by Jesus through the Sermon on the Mount. So making sure that we're positive, that we're calm, that we're kind, that we're smart, and we're living cleanly. A long, long, long time ago now, over a hundred years ago, there was a great war. And some of you will have talked about this in school over maybe the past week or so, and certainly over the next couple of days as Remembrance Day comes up. Well, a number of people went overseas to fight for their country and for what they believed in and to ensure that everyone could leave, live peacefully and in safety. A lot of them went to make sure that their loved ones would stay safe. But things were pretty scary over there. And so what many of the soldiers would do is they would pray. Some of them knew that God would always be with them and watch out over them. Now, one of the things that many of those soldiers had were pockets in their uniforms. And so some of them would scribble their prayers and notes and letters to their loved ones to be sent when they could mail them out. Some of them wrote poems, like John McRae, who wrote In Flanders Fields, a very famous poem that is the basis for our symbol, the poppy, to help us remember everybody who fought back then for our future freedoms. And so I want you to think about what it means to be prepared. Sometimes we talk about being prepared in a totally different way. Like I know 
that if I'm going on a hike or a walk, I prepare myself by packing a bag. And so inside that bag, I might have a whistle in case I get lost and need to call for help and an emergency light. I might bring a flashlight. If the weather's really cold, I'll bring a hat or I'll bring, bring gloves. And of course, in these times, I bring my hand sanitizer and even little leaves of soap for when I'm out and I need to wash my hands with my water bottle. So being prepared to meet God is like having a bag or a toolkit with tools for what it means to be prepared as Christians to meet him. So if you haven't checked out the activities from the Beatitudes for last week, I would encourage you to do that and check out some of those tools for being prepared to speak to or meet God.